Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'd like to introduce my favorite Japanese hot pot, pork shabu shabu. Much healthier and lighter than the beef shabu shabu, so I can eat it even when I have no appetite. Also, it's easy to prepare, so I really cook this quite often. For the pork shabu shabu, first, put a piece of kelp and a sliced garlic in the pot with some water. If you don't have any kelp, you can just add a few garlic slices in the water. Boil the water and let's prepare other stuff. First, let's prepare some veggies for the hot pot. The main vegetable for this shabu shabu is lettuce. And I like serving the lettuce with this beautiful presentation, so I'll show you how to cut it. First, check the height of the large flat bone to see where you want to put the knife on the lettuce. Then slice the lettuce. But if you skip this lettuce decoration part, the prep will be very quick. Place the most beautiful slice in the center and fill in the edges with the other cut pieces. This is super optional, but if you have a dinner bowl like this to place it in, it looks beautiful, so try it! You'll have leftover pieces, so eat them with the shabu shabu or as a salad later. Next, as a garnish, chop some green onions. I'm using only the green part for this. I'm cutting off the white part for the shabu shabu later on, so put it aside for now. Place the chopped green onions as if making a circle, and hide the empty spaces between the lettuce. Chop the white part of the green onions for the shabu shabu soup topping. I love green onions and always use a ton. I had some cilantro at home, so I ate it with the pork. It's nice to have some kind of herbs as a nice accent to the flavor. I added some enoki mushrooms too. They fall apart easily, so I always cut over the package. Don't forget tofu. It's an important ingredient for this hot pot. I like using extra soft tofu, like the tofu for Korean sundubu jjigae. The extra soft tofu is very fragile, so be careful when you cut it. This is called aburaage in Japanese, and they are twice fried thin tofu. It's a popular ingredient for Japanese hot pot. To remove the excess oil in them, it's better to boil them for 1 minute before using. Then cut them into a quarter inch pieces. Finally, serve the thinly sliced shabu shabu pork on plates. This time, I got pork fat and pork belly slices, but I like the pork belly slices more for this shabu shabu because the pork fat gives more natural umami to the hot pot. Also the soft pork and the crunchy lettuce will match perfectly. Now I'm showing a few easy appetizers. First, I sliced a lotus root very thinly and made a lotus chips. My lotus chips are always air fried and very healthy, so if you have an air fryer, try it. Add the sesame oil and the salt in the bowl, then toast to coat the lotus slices. Put the lotus chip in the air fryer and set the temperature and the time to start cooking. Put the chips halfway through the time. 40 minutes later, the crispy chips are done. You can hear how crispy they are. 
I added some seaweed flakes there to make them have more like Japanese flavor. I made one more appetizer, salmon pocky. Add one bite sized avocado and salmon in a bowl. Then add sesame oil, soy sauce, lime juice, wasabi, and honey. Mix them well and try a bite. Then add salt, black pepper, and sesame seeds. Serve on a plate with a clean presentation. To wrap the pocky with the seaweed, I serve them on the side. Finally, it's time to eat! Nice broth from the kelp. This is a very well balanced dinner with meat, fish, and lots of vegetables. Very satisfying, but very healthy. If you serve the ingredients nicely, it looks even more delicious too. I put some sake into my favorite sake glass that my good friend gave me. Kanpai! That's cheers in Japanese. Pour some soba soup in the soup bowl. If the soba soup is concentrated, add a little hot water from the pot. Add chopped green onions if you have them, and a yuzu kosho, which is Japanese citrus chili paste. Keep at low heat. First, add a few pieces of lettuce in the pot, then add pork pieces too. The thinly sliced pork cooks quickly, so it's better to keep it at low heat. If you cook it too long, it gets too hard and not soft, so be careful. Dip it in the soba soup and eat them together. Oishi! Enjoy the other ingredients too, but I recommend just enjoying the pork and lettuce only for a little bit first. The slightly crunchy lettuce and soft pork go great together. If you see this white clay form from the pork in the pot, scoop it out like this to keep the soup clear. At the end of the hot pot dinner, enjoy the soba. We call the ending noodles or rice for hot pot as shime in Japanese. This is a great way to enjoy and finish up the broth in the pot. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. またね